Alright guys, well, we're uh, sitting here at the end of uh, runway 36 at, over at French Valley and we're getting ready to uh, depart to the north to uh, Mammoth Lakes. I suppose that they, what they said was that they haven't Valley, had this uh, kind of... Skyhawk 379 or 24. They haven't had this kind of uh, snowfall since over 1914. Here, uh, so we're going to get up there and... Left downwind to runway 18 at the uh, 45. Oh. Alright, we got... That's uh, I gotta wait for that guy. So, anyways, we're going to Mammoth, and uh, we're gonna go snowboarding half day. Come back tomorrow. So, pretty excited about everything, and uh, hopefully the flight goes smooth. Uh, traffic centurion, seven X rays. Line up right, Air speed's coming alive. We have seventy. We got seventy-five. We got eighty. We got eighty-five. Positive rate of climb at a hundred. Gears coming up. Trim's going down. Good morning, Marsh GCA, Comanche 923 Papa. 923 Papa, March approach. Uh, March approach is closed until 9 o'clock local. Contact SoCal 134.0. 340, Roger, thanks, 3 Papa. SoCal, Comanche 923 Papa. We're 9023 Papa. SoCal, Comanche 923 Papa would like uh, VFR flight following approximately five miles north of Foxtrot 70, climbing out of 4,000. Uh, I would like 11,500 in route to uh, Mammoth Lakes, MMH. Okay. Our 3 Papa, the altimeter is 3012. We search transponder and squawk 1045, please. 1045, 3 Papa. Morning, Joshua Approach, Comanche 923 Papa, level 11500. Comanche 923 Papa, Joshua Approach, home to altimeter 3026, R2515 is hot, remain clear. 2515 hot, remain clear, 3 Papa. Dang it! 3026. Skunked. Altimeter. 3026. Man, like. Every time we try to go through 2515, we just get screwed. We've been cleared by it through it one, one time, and we've made four trips up here now. Um, so we've got denied seven times in the last four trips, there and back. Um, maybe it's a weekday thing, I don't know. So, anyways. Uh, didn't we get cleared once when we I did. was in the middle of it? And the air traffic controller was like, ma'am. Oh yeah, but that was, I don't think really counted. We got cleared when it was like almost IFR because of like Isabella's smoke earlier this year. Oh yeah, that's what it was. That's what, not really helped me because I was a new pilot. We're November going through four, November 443 Echo Alpha Josh approach from the altimeter. We're going through some heavy smoke over at uh, Kern. It was very, very bad visibility up in, even at 10,000, so we got cleared anyways. All right, guys, just wanted to give you a little update here. We're just passing uh, Inyo Kern, um, and just we're on the tight squeeze of the restricted airspace between the 395 and China Lake. We're just passing that right now. What do you think of the flight so far? Um, it's been an uh, incredibly nice flight. Very smooth. So we're going to flip the camera around and, uh, and show you our view that we get to look at this whole time. Look at all that snow. Yeah, it's so nice. Mount Whitney's out there. Just so beautiful out there. Imagine how cold the beer's going to be. Oh, the beer's going to be so cold. It's going to be amazing. Autopilot, yeah. <laughs> Autopilot, <laughs> yeah. Eight miles southbound, nine thousand. Automatic, Monique. I was feeling for the wind. Automatic, Monique. Eighty-six, eighty-three traffic. I'm uh, automatic. Road, seven miles maneuvering, one five thousand. Just trying to hurry and get us to a beer. So, I got my automatic Monique working again. So nice, just recline my chair, make sure the oil pressure stays in the green, and enjoy the views from the cockpit. So, feels good to fly. Feels good to fly, feels good. It's just so beautiful. I mean, since we just last updated you, or maybe I won't edit that into the picture, but uh, we'll flip the GoPro around, and now we can get a better look at the Owens Valley, and. What 2017 really brought to the uh, to the mountains up here? It's gonna be so beneficial for the drought. Play one one.
getting colder, summer getting warmer, tidal wave come across the Mexican border. Why buy gallon is cheaper by the barrel, just don't get busted singing Christmas carols. That's us, that's right, gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the ozone burning, funny how the world keeps turning. Look, Ma, no hands, I love this American ride. Gets her rocks off, watching Desperate Housewife. Daddy works his can off, paying for the good life. Kids on the YouTube learning how to be cool, living in a I've never seen that before. Be a mean girl. Oh, while we're coming in. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the ozone burning. Funny how the world keeps turning. Wow. Mammoth Drive at Comanche 3A Bob and turn on final runway 09. Mammoth. That is unreal. I don't think I've ever seen this much snow up here. Really? Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen this much snow. That's great. Nice. Stabilized out at 100. We can slow down a little bit more. Mammoth, Comanche 3 and Bobby Short, final runway 09. Mammoth. Shuffle over to the right just a little bit with our hands. Lock it in with our feet. We're at 90 on the airspeed. A little trim up. Oh, getting away from us. Yeah, I definitely have a little crosswind out there. Eighty-five on the airspeed. Our lines, better lines. Bristle cone for 139 bucks a night. It's a deal. So we got our jacuzzi and our steam shower right there. Deluxe kitchen. Yeah, snow banks as far as the eye can see. She's just right there. And in here, this is where all the magic happens for other people. Well, I'm hungry, so I'm going to grab a drink. See you soon. All right, all you aviation folk, this is what you can do when you fly up to Mammoth on nice days. Say hello. Hello. So it's the first run of the day. How are you feeling? I'm speaking since 1988. I'm like, I was born in 1984, just for the record. <laughs> and you have six. You were born in '86, asshole. Or '86, yeah. <laughs> you better take me on the bunny slope. So I took her on a black diamond run by mistake. She's doing good though. Woo! I thought you were gonna eat it. I thought you were gonna eat it. Is it? Alright.